begin with another shakeup of sorts in the Alameda County District Attorney's Office. When Pamela Price took office this past January, she placed seven career prosecutors on paid administrative leave. Over the months, three resigned and took other jobs. But now we've learned that three of the four remaining deputy district attorneys were suddenly told to come back to work while they're still under investigation. Their return to the office as the taxpayer tab for the paid leave and investigations now tops a million dollars. She uh, handed me a letter and said that I am um, on administrative paid leave and that I need to empty out my office. Colleen McMahon was the first deputy district attorney placed on leave after Pamela Price took office. But she wasn't the only one. Within days, six additional veteran prosecutors were also placed on paid administrative leave. Some on allegations of campaign violations connected to Price's first unsuccessful run for DA in 2018. And others accused of prosecutorial misconduct dating back before Price took office in January. I've never had someone put on administrative leave or disciplined in the public sector for something that didn't happen under that person's watch. Matt Finnegan is the union attorney representing the seven prosecutors. It's a, a waste of taxpayer money. Price declined my invitation to talk about the issue in an email saying the district attorney's office doesn't comment on personnel issues. But she did address the staff removals no in this recorded message back in June. In the Alameda County District Attorney's Office of today, you can no longer prosecute the law and violate the law at the same time. Yes, we are cleaning house. McMahon and two other prosecutors ended up leaving of their own accord. But four prosecutors continued earning their full $260,000 a year salary, plus another $78,000 in benefits for 10 months. That is until last week, when three were told to return to work with the understanding that the investigation into their alleged wrongdoing is ongoing. Finnegan, who negotiated the contracts for the union prosecutors and has intimate knowledge of their wages and benefits, puts the total tax dollars spent on placing the prosecutors on leave and hiring two outside law firms to investigate at over $1.6 million. A tab that with one prosecutor still on paid leave, Finnegan says will continue to grow. Now, sources tell us that the timing of bringing back those three prosecutors coincides with the resignation of two other longtime veteran deputy DAs. Terry? 